All right, we get to learn about z-scores in this example, um, but let's look at the situation and then we'll get to what a z-score is. Ella and Alicia are comparing scores on their college entrance exams. Ella's SAT score is 1380, Alicia's ACT score is 32. So what they're trying to do is compare two different tests, like who did better on their test? Well, I don't know how, a, how an SAT score of 1380 compares to an ACT score of 32. So what we do is we normalize the distributions if they are normally distributed, and we create this thing called a z-score, which allows us to compare different things. So the mean SAT score is 1,000 with a standard deviation of 200. You can see we have the graph, the distribution of the SAT scores. Here's the mean in the middle. The standard deviation is 200, so we're counting by 200s above and below. And then you can see where Ella fell. Ella is right here at 1380. So her score is, you know, above the mean. Nice job, Ella. Um, but how does that compare to Alicia's ACT score? So the ACT score has a mean of 21. So clearly Alicia did better than the mean um, with a standard deviation of five. So we can see they're counting by fives. Who has the better score? So to analyze data, to analyze where a data value falls in the distribution, we have to find how many standard deviations it is above or below the mean. So to analyze where a data value falls in the distribution, we have to find how many standard deviations it is above or below the mean. There's a little formula that we do for this and we call that a z-score. We call that, um, that number, how many standard deviations above or below the mean are you? So the formula for a z-score is we take the data value, we subtract the mean, and we divide that number by the standard deviation. Okay, so let's calculate Ella's z-score. Here's what we know. We know that her SAT score was 1380. We know that the mean SAT score is 1000 and the standard deviation is 200. So her z-score is going to be 1380 minus the mean, 1,000, divided by 200. 1380 minus 1,000 is 380. Divide that by 200, and you get 1.9. So Ella's z-score is 1.9. Alicia's z-score, Let's see, what is her, she took the ACT, her ACT score was 32. We need the mean of the ACT scores, the mean score was 21, and the standard deviation is 5. So to find her z-score, we're going to take her score 32 minus the mean 21, divide that by 5. So 32 minus 21 is 11, divided by 5 is 2.2. So Alicia's z-score is 2.2. So what this means is Ella scored 1.9 standard deviations above the mean. Alicia z-score is 2.2, so she scored 2.2 standard deviations above the mean. So what is that what does all that mean? What's our conclusion? Well, the person with a higher z-score has the better score. You're scoring that much more above the average of your test. 
So we can conclude that a leech's score is better.